when you look at all the great long drivers, they all follow this principle. If I can get the speed with this movement, then that's when it changes the game and I become Martin Bordmeier. Move down, 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 move down. I think you cracked your rib. Did I just hit you? Yeah. I'm so sorry about hey. that. I was I was very excited. Uh, everybody, Borgie is back. Borgie's still in Dallas, and guess what? We're already at Waters Creek. Sun's about to go down, so it's gonna be a nice little night range session today for Instagram and stuff. But today I want to talk about something different. Today I want to talk about the one principle that I was missing to really understand power in the golf swing. And this is so simple, seriously, so simple. I have a feeling it is so simple that everybody, you guys out there can understand and also reproduce. But before I do that, and to make sure that I explain it the right way, I wanna make sure that I stay focused while I talk to you guys. So I'm about to mix my swing right here. Use some swing before you swing. Switch it up now. So drink swing before you swing or explain stuff about the swing to stay focused. Use my promo code for some dollars off. Check the description below for some details. Today, we're talking about tour. Yeah. This is Sam Judah. You know this guy from the Registry video. If you've not seen it yet, check out this video up here from Registry because this guy, he actually came to the range at Golden Bear and hit 218 ball speed just right out of the gate with like mechanics fairly crappy. <laughs> They're and, still fairly crappy. And that's actually what I want to talk about because we talk about torque. Torque is actually the rotational element of a force. So basically the twisting force that's causing an object, you as a player, to rotate and eventually hit the golf ball with maximum force. And there's two elements to it. One is the force alone and one is the moment arm. And you're, I mean, when you look at your swing, you're putting so much force, so much crazy force into the golf swing. And I mean, you're crazy fast, but at the same time, I feel like you don't look very efficient. When I look at guys like Drew Cooper out there, they look like they're just smoothing it. Yeah, and then, well, it's, a, it's like a ping eye tube, right? You have an old pop ping eye tube and you look at it. But they're 220 ball speed, right? How is that even possible? So what is torque? force and moment arm actually mean. So let's look at this. If you would try to put this grip to the ground, how would you do that? All right, you wouldn't do this, yeah. would you? No. Right. Because if we imagine this being the axis, this being the moment arm, and we're applying a force, and we wanna get this down to the ground, we would have to apply a crazy amount of force right here to get this grip to the ground compared to just smoothly, easily bending it down right here. So that's what the moment arm and eventually the torque that's being created is about. And the same thing applies to the golf swing. To make the swing as efficient as possible, we want to create a large moment arm, but also obviously a large amount of force. And well, the force is caused by this, and this, and this, and that, and that, and that, all of this, all like him, <laughs> him being strong, right? Because he's a strong <laughs> and, you <laughs> and you are the <laughs> I want to explain two different things to you. One is pressure in the ground. Pressure you apply to the ground, right? Pressure left, pressure right. And when you have both feet on the ground, there is a center of the pressure you apply to the ground, right? Now it would be more left when you go like this, and now it would be more right if you go like this, right? So that center of pressure is actually moving. And then we have ourselves, our bodies, as the mass. When I go more over here, my center of mass is more left. When I go down, it's further down, and vice versa, and so on and so forth. It's usually about at about the middle of our, our body. The COP, so the pressure down there and the mass up here, is completely independent. So I could move my mass over here, but still point that center of pressure, especially when we're in motion dynamically, to the left. So if I would look at a COP trace doing this, my mass would be very stable. Where would my center of mass, uh, my center of pressure go? Yeah, that way. That would move that way. Yeah. Exactly. And that is how we create a moment arm in the golf swing. On a very easy scale, 
that center of pressure and that center of mass together create the moment arm. That means the further forward the center of pressure is and the further backwards the center of mass of the body is, the bigger the moment arm. And then you apply force, force to, the ground. to the ground. And that combined is your torque. That's what we want to create. So what does that mean for you? A lot. <laughs> Got a lot so to what, figure out. So what, but, what would you do with this? So I would try to figure out how to keep my mass this way and putting pressure here before I start leaking. What if I told you you could move that mass? Okay. Throughout the golf. Sport. Yes. Yes. Understand. Imagine that. because we're we're loading up. Yes. Right. We're loading up this way. Your mass is coming. What if? What if? We already move back when we're at our backswing still mm -hmm. at around here, right? So we load up, we move back, and then once we're up here, we're firing everything back. How about that? That makes more sense. Because then you're also moving your center of mass. So you're adding something to it that also creates power, right? So you could like move everything away from the ball, away from the handle. And that again, I told you about this already, is that counter force we're yes. applying to the And to you're the... going momentum. You're getting more momentum. Absolutely. Because you're, you're going this way, that way, then there, you're causing your mass to give you more, mo more momentum to the ball. Yeah. With the club behind. I agree. Okay. So this move we're now about to practice is a crazy long drive move. So I wouldn't recommend you guys out there to do this on course, but the principle is exactly the same. When you're hitting irons, well, the principle is a little bit different though, because you want to hit the ball first and then you want to take a divot, right? So you're hitting down on the ball. With drivers, you're hitting up on the ball. And in long drive, we're hitting like crazy up on the ball, like eight, nine, 10 angle of attack up. That means we can exaggerate this motion because we don't have to hit every single ball in the grid. So we can allow ourselves to move a lot more to eventually create more power. But the principle itself, when hitting drivers out on course, would apply to the golf swing as well. Center of pressure forward, center of mass backwards. Maybe not crazy as center of pressure, center of mass like that, like in long drive to maximize everything, but maybe a little bit. You definitely don't want to have them at the same point like this. Okay, so now we know what it's about, so how do we apply it? Very first step with you, what I would practice is, because your tendency is that you're too far over here. So what I would practice with you, because this, going like that and just ooh, moving back is not very powerful. You would hit it higher, but you wouldn't hit it very powerful. So what I would practice with you is, you put all your mass or weight on your left foot. Now what you try to do is you swing up and then you try to explode to the right. Okay, so you go a little bit like this. Like that shot, huh? It's that easy, folks. It's that easy. <laughs> pretty pretty good. good. Look at that thing. Huh? It, it teaches you from here to get over here and actually accelerate the, all of that mass, your torso back, right? And then while doing this, we try to hit it as high as we can. So I hit 7.5 launch angle. Go try to beat me. Weight on the left, perfect. And now explode to the right. So just. Boom, exactly. So as soon as you're in transition, I want you to go over as hard as you can. Nice. Now look at that, 10.7 already. So this is 10.7 launch. That's pretty damn good. Okay, let's get it up to, let's get it up to 13. I want you to feel where your torso is actually going. Yeah. And I want you to feel like, don't fall over, 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 okay? So you want to move, you want to move that way. Yeah. Slowly down, don't fall over, don't fall over, don't fall over. Perfect, 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 perfect. Nice. So what I try there is I try to push him in the direction that I don't want you to go. Yes. Right? So I want your muscles to feel where they ha actually have to move. Okay. Okay, so you gotta move oof, that, way. that way. Nice, I like that. Pin to the right. Nice. There we go, 14.1. Because some people like me are a feel person. I have to yeah. feel it instead of hearing it. So hearing you talk about it, I get it. But then when you put me through it and I feel it, yeah, that's now, what really now helps everything. Now everything I said makes way more sense, right? Yes. Now, basically, what I want you to do is we add the next element. So I want you to set up like normal, and then at this. And this is a crazy long drive move. I want you to load up to the right, and actually, as soon as you take away the club, mm -hmm. I already want you to move to the left. Okay. Right, so it's exaggerated. It's a little bit of this. 
So we go right, go left, and then we boom, go back to the right again. It's a lot of this and that. All the stuff you don't want to do when you want to hit great wedges. A lot of loading back and boom, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. That is so high. Nice. Look at that thing. Look how high that is. Oh, I like that, Sam. I really like that. That's a 13.4. For this, now I'll be more efficient, then figure out the club. I love that. Effortless torque. That's what yeah, you've I been just, talking about. It, that is so true, actually. Trademarked by me. <laughs> that is so true, actually, because you've been putting so much force into the golf swing. And it tires me out. such a small moment on. Yep. Imagine this would be a door, right? So the door is like opening and closing. Yep. And you've been trying to push that door open right there every single time you want to go to the bathroom. Instead right? of? Instead of just doing this. Yep. There you go. Nice. Nice. Better. Okay, and now at the same time, and this is fairly crazy because we're doing a lot in just this one session, but while you're doing all of that and you're coming back down here, right? You're like pulling your shoulder up and all that, going that way, moving all of your torso actually right. Yep. I want you to try and start that ball over the yellow flag okay way right way right way right okay. i just want you to start it over there okay i want you to feel like you started feel over. like i started okay. over that way you feel, feel it. it it's going that so, way so basically what i want you to do is go address the ball as you go down right go that way and come in from here and then swing out that way yep while you're doing this i want you to whoop, go there yeah. it's it's weird because most people that tend to slice it they slice it more because they feel like they have to do it left. So you cut it, right? But when I give you the feel, I need I need you to like start it right to let it come back in. Bring it come back Your in. path is probably gonna be better. Also, all of these motions that we just practiced, right? They don't do very well with an over-the-top motion. So let's let's make this happen. Swing it out there to the right. Come on. Extremely up on the ball. Come on. Oh yes, better. Better. I like that. Where'd that go? Stop. Move down. 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 Okay. Shut it. Did you see how open that thing was? Then you cracked your rib. Did I just hit you? Yeah. I'm so sorry about that. I was I was very excited. I thought somebody shanked one. That that thing was dead straight. Oh yeah. And now inside and shut the face. Shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it. Nice, I like that. Come on, let's do it. How about that thing? How about that thing? Spin it? Bend it. Then hit another one. So you go like whoop, whoop. You're like whoop, whoop. Make the noise too. Whoop. Yep. What, what's your driver setting? Minus 1D. Can you do minus 2 in D? No, right? Well, yeah. Is that possible? Oh, yeah, it is. Why don't you do that? So in long drive, you don't want to launch it using your loft. You want to launch it using, using your, your angle of attack. OK. Right? So in, to achieve angle of attack, you're doing this. That. Whoop. Right? And Whoop. this counter motion right from here to there, Whoop. you're doing because you want to create angle of attack and speed at the same time. Yes. Right? Yes. So you don't want to do this. No. Not very powerful. You want to hit up on the ball as much as you can, and the loft Doesn't. is actually only going to help you Lower to speed. decrease spin. Perfect. See, you never told me that before. I didn't tell you because you were too good. No. <laughs> Go. So you went from from four and a half thousand spin to thirty-two. To thirty-two. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What if I told you there is a parameter that is called COM speed? There's a difference between doing this and doing this. Yeah. Right? Does it make sense? Yes. Okay. C COM speed. Do you want to crank up that COM speed? Yes. Okay, so I want you to move there fast. 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 Early and fast. Early and fast. Okay. I want you to move that center of mass as quickly as you can. Come on, shut the door. How do you like that one? It was dead straight, 
It was 11.4 2400 spin. 2400 spin, which is effectively probably like 1600 or something. Yes, I feel like I'm at 75 percent. We're usually I'm at 100 percent to 215, 218, but my spin's up because I'm so muscly. I'm just spinning now. I feel like I'm more in control and able to control the head more and have more efficient movement. Dude, you're... So if I can get the speed with this movement, then that's when it changes the game and I become Martin Borgmeier. Dude, you've been a... <laughs> you're a truck with an enormous engine, but you're always pulling a trailer. Yes. All the time. All the time. Right? I'm wearing down. So you got to fire in everything, consuming more gas and all the good stuff, right? We're just unhooking the, the trailer. trailer. And now we're right. going to go, whoop. We go like, whoop. So we go loading up back to the left and that pressure is still there, but whoop, whoop, everything is moving right. When you look at all the great long drivers, they all follow this principle. They all have their own magic moves and all of that, but these motions, all of that are the same. is pretty much the same. Yeah. Sammy, Sammy boy, thank, thank you, you very Martin. much. And I hope you try it out there yourself. Don't do it with irons. You're gonna chunk every single ball, but with drivers, it might work your magic. Comment down below what you feel about this. Maybe you're like, oh, it's like my pro doesn't teach this. Yeah, it's a long drive move. Still makes sense for golf when you hit drivers. Not as exaggerated, but the principle itself makes sense. COP, COM, and COM speed. Well, Lothar Matthäus would say, again, what learned. Also hit the like button. See you in the next one.